Hello viewers, welcome to this episode of the program. It is Economic Insights and I'm your host Paul Kingsley. Now in continuation with the ongoing report we are doing on infrastructure development in Nigeria, today we are spotlighting an indigenous company that are doing so well in, in the construction sector. I'm talking of Sabris Nigerian Limited and joining us is a man that has given back to the community who has dedicated his time and resources to the community that he operates in and also looking at the challenges affecting people in his community. Now we shall be discussing on also the challenges affecting players in the construction industry and also infrastructure decay in Nigeria and also infrastructure development in Nigeria. I'm talking of no other person than the Managing Director, CEO of Sabris Nigerian Limited is Anas Adamu Mohamed. We shall be discussing on the issues affecting the sector and also how they are contributing to the development of infrastructure in Nigeria. It promised to be an interesting conversation. Sit back with us. I'll be back after this time out. Sal Bricks Nigeria Limited, a company of industrious and diverse professionals under the auspices of Anas Adamu Mohammed, a seasoned professional with high tastes for quality works. The company has distinguished itself to become one of the leading indigenous construction companies in Nigeria, providing qualitative, timely and cost effective services in engineering, building construction and highway construction. <music> Salmix Nigeria Limited is a contracting and general trades company which, has, which was incorporated in the year 2011. As an indigenous building construction company, Salmix Nigeria Limited is saddled with the responsibility of adding value to the immediate environment through the application of high-powered mechanism for smooth and effective service delivery. Our services include design, construction, project and facility management, general construction logistics, to mention but a few. Thus, this have within our short start made us notable key player in the construction industry with a rich clients that includes but not restricted to government and non-governmental organizations, corporate and religious institutions, as well private individuals. The quest for success and sustainable development traceable within the industry necessitated the expansion of the company's initial capital base to a significant amount which has effectively placed us on the global scheme. With more than 20 years of my personal and comprehensive experiences and career accomplishments as a project managing director, I understood the hitches affecting the quality output. Essential factors such as cost management, strategic partnership and relationships with users, vendors and service providers, and very importantly, building and retaining high performance team through identifying and hiring, developing and motivating skilled professionals are neglected. Salbrix Nigeria Limited was not only inspired by the passion I have for this profession, but with the clear mandate to fill the wide gap and connect the dots. With a background of over 20 years of active construction works, the company has been able to contribute immensely to the development of Nigerians' infrastructures. Well, as key players in the industry, we always strive to prove our worth through satisfactory and optimal performance in our bid to quench the thirst of our valued clients. Our projects are world class cost-effective, of high quality, delivered within stipulated time frame. For instance, EU water projects is actually a provision of hygienic water source to remote areas in Nigeria, which has direct impact to the common man. 
Secondly, we, we had a project sponsored by EU, construction of EU cold store uh, projects, which is a provision of cold store where vaccine can be stored for ease of accessibility to less privileged communities. We have passion to develop and improve the standard of living of our citizens. Maternity centers, Islamic schools, places of uh, worship, philanthropic and humanitarian project of His Highness, the Emir of Gombe, under his mentorship, who has been inspiring us and encouraging us to do more on that uh, part, actually has encouraged us the more because he is a personality that has his communities at heart. We also deliver high-profile projects in the education institutions, Gombe State University, Federal University Kashari, Awoka Tafal Balio University, Bauchi, Modi Boadim University of Technology, Yola, to mention but a few among various other World Bank assisted projects we had. South Bricks Nigeria Limited is highly equipped with young dynamic management and technical team with years of corporate and field experience to undertake and execute any given tax in its field of endeavors. Yeah, my name is uh, Imran Lowell Kwargana, um, construction manager at South Bricks Nigeria Limited. I'm the one handling this project and some of our other projects outside. And, uh, as you can see, this is one of our uh, ongoing projects. It is a construction of warehouse, which we can be used as a storage facility. From what you can see here, it's a, it's a project that requires a very significant amount of uh, perfection, accuracy, and uh, preciseness due to the steel work and the steel trusses connection and combinations here, actually. Over the years, the company has maintained consistency in building and civil engineering construction works across the country with utmost emphasis on quality and timely completion of project to standards, specification and clients' satisfaction. I am Mohammed Ali Ubanek, a builder by profession. We have Kashiri, we have project at Duduku, we have project at uh, Shongo Serkinyaki, we have it at ATBU, I mean State University, Gombe State University. We also have it at Jekadafari, which is Sube project. We have it at um, Nasarawa, which is Sube project, and many more. A company is looked at not only for the services and products it provides, but also the impact of corporate social responsibility. With this commitment to demonstrating leadership and stewardship of the environment and social responsibility, and as Adamu Mohammed seeks to conduct with the highest ethical standards in an overriding effort to make a positive impact in the communities where it operates. Well, certainly not only us, all of us are inspired from the projects and uh, assistance His Royal Highness has been given to his community. So I'm sure Anas is lucky to be close to His Royal, Hi Royal Highness and he has learned a lot. And this is why Anas has been doing very well. He's uh, one of our most popular philanthropists in Gombe. Has been doing particularly uh, concerning education. He has built so many schools, both uh, primary, Islamia, and other higher educational uh, schools in Gombe. And I know Anas has been very helpful to many people in Gombe, particularly towards employment. Many boys who have graduated from either secondary school, uh, even universities, and have nothing to do, are being employed by Anas. And they have got a lot of work, and most of them have progressed. They have become people of themselves. They employ also, after being employed by Anas, and they become very rich and powerful. They have also employed many people in our community here. Well, I am always very proud of the activities of Anas towards helping his community. Uh, you wouldn't know much about it, except particularly when during the fasting, the Ramadan fasting, 
he feeds uh, those people who are pure, poor, and uh, he distributes food and clothing items to the needy in our community here. Businesses have an impact on social development where they operate. They have a responsibility that extends beyond value creation. It is only a matter of ethical responsibility for any company such as our own to give back to the community in so many ways possible. Uh, the managing director of our beloved company, uh, in person of um, Elijah Anas Adamo Mohammed, uh, FNIQS, is a bold man and he takes his responsibilities with all sense of uh, dedication and duty. Uh, since inception, this company has facilitated a number of projects which are targeted at the masses and extreme poor, extremely poor uh, people, people with disabilities, internally displaced persons, given the circumstances of our region, the Northeast, which has been devastated by crisis, insurgency, and other activities. Part of what I believe uh, is worthy of, of note here is that uh, Salbrix has, over the years, uh, facilitated the sponsorship of a number of students from all walks of life, from all sections of the, of the community, from the poor, from the uh, middle homes, and uh, sometimes uh, people that have been devastated by crisis. I can say without fear of contradiction that uh, over the time, over the years, uh, the company has assisted with tuition fees, provision of uh, relevant uh, necessities for students to aid their scholarship at various institutions, Ahmed Bello University, Abubakar Tafa Bello University, University of Meduguri, and all other, uh, some other universities and uh, degree awarding institutions and uh, certificate awarding institutions within our regions and within our community. The managing director has taken a bold step in assisting uh, a number of women in Gombe State and environs through assisting them with uh, start-up uh, funds for their businesses, skill acquisition, skills acquisition, and very many other activities that are widely encompassing, actually. The corporate social responsibilities are widely encompassing. I can remember the uh, issue of building hospitals and uh, maternity centers, then providing drugs, uh, community schools, uh, the, the modern Almagiri system, improving the quality of what we have and then improving on the quality that we have and then uh, providing infrastructure that will enable uh, quality, uh, intelligence, and modernity. These are part of the corporate social responsibilities of Salbrix. Indigenous companies in Algeria have recorded low level of participation and have often been sidelined in large-scale construction activities. Experts attribute this to lack of a level playing ground in the construction industry. Well, what poses a bottleneck to most construction firms in Nigeria today, including ours, is the inability of the public clients, especially public clients, to own valuation certificates on time and make prompt payment as and when due, which consequently affect the cash flows of the, of, the, of, the, of the construction firms. That is a major challenge. A difficult not to crack, because it is sometimes difficult to define what truly is an indigenous or foreign company. And what is a level playing ground? Because by law, any company that is incorporated in Nigeria and has its principal place of business as Nigeria is an indigenous company, whether or not the promoters are Nigerians. And by virtue of the Procurement Act, all publicly funded projects are to be largely procured through open competitive bidding. Most often, you may find companies that are wholly owned by Nigerian, but having mostly foreigners as the key personnel and operatives. Nonetheless, I must commend the federal government's initiative that culminated to the signing of Executive Order Number no. 5, 
and equally plead with the state governments to also borrow, borrow a leaf from the federal government. I must also add that the signature is not enough. Both federal government and state governments must equally create deliberate policies that will support effective implementation of the order. Here, I will suggest creating intervention fund that will enable small and medium-sized contractors to borrow from, creation of equipment leasing companies, among others. The role of industrial sector in fostering economic growth in Nigeria continues to be undermined by the state of the requisite infrastructure in the country, paramount amongst which are power, housing, roads and infrastructure. Well, from the look of things, there are significant infrastructural gap as well as there are serious infrastructural infrastructural deficits or backlogs if you like across all sectors with the construction sector leading in this deficit therefore we are not there yet but inshallah we will be there the federal government is trying its best on this by way of reference the federal government's policy on, of mass housing project as an annual intervention targeted across all 36 states of Nigeria Road construction like Gombeola Road in the northeast, Gombebu Road in the northeast, Kano Maiduguri Highway in the northwest, Mumbila Hydropower Project in the northeast, Abuja Just Gombe Expressway just approved, I think it was approved last year, Lagos Ibadan Expressway, Dangote Refinery, airline services within many states in the country nowadays, unlike before that you can hardly connect Abuja Lagos railway across major commercial city in the, of nigeria among several others are quite commendable the major concern is the low, slow speed progress of the project if the speed will be improved we may achieve a lot within the shortest period of time also if you take a look at the state governors they are also doing their best take an example of gombe state where i come from we have a number of ongoing projects of his excellency muhammad along this line. Some of these ongoing projects are Degiri Dembele Talaserot in Balanga local government and Zue Malala Zange Rot in Duku local government, being part of the Network 11100. is a slogan scheme of the governor which intends to provide 100 kilometer road networks across each of the state's 11 local governments. With many other well conceived projects, such as the resuscitation of Balanga Dam, Tomato Company, fertilizer and cotton factories for their utilization to full capacity, as well as massive construction of hospitals and provisions of portable drinking water across the state. Well, it is always difficult to give a profile of oneself, especially when surrounded by cameras. You know, but um, let's give it a try. I hold a bachelor's and master's degree in Quinsylvain and construction management respectively. In addition to a master's in business administration, I'm currently pursuing a PhD in the same field. I have several professional affiliations. Nigerian Institute of Quinty Surveyors, Quinty Surveyors Registration Board of Nigeria, Nigerian Society of engineers, United States based Association for the Advancement of Cost Engineering, AACE, I are worthy of North. I have received multiple certifications, awards and fellowships, which include the London Academy Business School, Fellow of the Nigerian Institute of Quantity Surveyors, Fellow of the Institute of Business Diplomacy and Financial Management, among others. I have a track record of over 20 years of comprehensive experiences and career accomplishments, driven by sincere passion for the profession. As a result, oriented projects manager, I have attended many international conferences, workshops, and exhibitions of construction materials across Asia, Europe, and America. I'm passionate about development and impacting communities through enhanced corporate social responsibility and philanthropy. I'm happily married. Blessed with some children.
We must say a very big thank you, sir, for your time on the program. Thank you so much for granting us this interview out of your busy schedule. We really appreciate you. Thank you so much and God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank I you, appreciate sir. it. Thank you very much. Once more, thank you. Sir.